Uh, just working on uh, the uh, electric motor programming. Um, just trying to fine-tune the new joystick so I thought uh, you know one thing I haven't done was a video about the software so I'm just going to show you how that works what you need is this USB um, programming cable and um, I think this is a heavily overly charged part but uh, that's what you got to get to um, get this to work but it's just a standard uh, USB uh, serial uh, kind of dongle and they've just got this special connector here to uh, connect into the port on the back of the vector controller. So you put this little dongle in it only goes in one way and then the other end the USB you put into the computer I run and it's called PI800 and uh, it usually detects the COM port. So you click this little connection button. And when you click this, it says no response because of timeout. All right, let me try the other one, COM5. Upload parameters successful. So, uh, so once you get it on, it pulls up all the values here uh, for all of the different um, components. So there's the motor parameters, uh, voltage, current, temperature settings, motor blockage settings, throttle parameter settings. And then down here at the bottom, under uh, speed throttle type, like I said, this is the most annoying interface, you can either pick Hall Effect throttle or potentiometer throttle. So for the joystick you want potentiometer, but if you were using a bicycle uh, style, then you want uh, linear and Hall effect throttle. So this one here is a potentiometer type throttle. Uh, increased from 3.7 volts the maximum allowed voltage to 4.5 and I think that's because uh, with this particular motor the uh, uh, the throttle is sending uh, a little bit more voltage uh, than that. So that's one thing. And then uh, up here above in the current parameters and current meaning the current out of the motor. The, the battery drawn limit was 220 and the low voltage uh, triggering here I changed to uh, let me see low voltage protection value 42 volts. So it reduces current at 44 volts and the low voltage is enabled. So you can actually disable the low voltage which I believe um, uh, will allow you to, to drain the batteries lower than 42 volts so if you really needed to uh, in the lead acid system you're damaging your batteries I think at that point so uh, if you start pushing them way too far uh, so basically uh, that's the way it works there's a couple of icons up here so there's upload so when you click upload it actually brings the, the current state into it and then if you make a change and you press download, it actually will push it to the, uh, to the controller. So again, you connect the USB with the controller power off. So basically it's pushing the, uh, there's enough uh, voltage on the USB, which is five volts. So that's kind of the one thing that's different with this serial dongle is that there is actually voltage going out, out of it to power the, uh, uh, the controller. Kind of the software. Those are the different sections. And uh, everybody asks about regenerative braking. And like I said, the only thing I don't like about this is that uh, it beeps when you put the braking on. And I don't really know how to turn that off. Cruise control is disabled. So forward speed ratio percentage and reverse torque. That might be, maybe that's how I can get my throttle to be uh, more sensitive. Forward speed loop setting. Changing these two here, forward speed loop setting and back, backward speed. The backward has this additional torque here versus speed, so I'm not too sure what that means, but uh, what got me thinking about that is that they have something here called a three gears function, and there's basically a little switch on the top of the controller uh, which I think is what that is used. 
that's button or shift. Yeah, so this button, default gear, zero, high gear, medium gear, low gear. So it's just basically taking the speed ratio down. So maybe if I enabled the three gear and just put the default gear as being uh, two, low gear, then it'll be at 60 as well. That might be another way to do it. But for now, I'm just going to run it at 100 and see if this works. So basically up to the top here, click download, and then I reconnect, which reads the connections again. And I'm just going to go over to that forward speed loop. And now it's back to 100. So I'm going to see how sensitive this is now. My, my issue is if you look at the throttle, that is barely moved. So at 60%, uh, you know, that is my max, that, or that's my cruising speed. So I'm, I'm barely, you know, moving it. If I move it like that, it's going to go up to about 30 amps. 13 amps. 650 watts so this should get me about three knots of boat speed and you can see my throttles barely moved here this switch doesn't seem to make any difference forward the ro rotation speed that's with the setting at 45 so now I'm going to go put it at 100 see if it makes any difference like I've got a little bit more throw to be able to play with it so I'm not too sure what the maybe it's something to do with the upper and lower voltages or something I remember that the other um, throttle like it was sensitive but not as sensitive as this so uh like you know it was touchy like so I, I i could always push more power through the motor than i wanted uh so i barely you know was pushing even the um the bicycle throttle but this one here it's like i could barely engage it uh, so ba ba barely turn it like so with the 45 setting, it's a lot better, but I'm going to see if there's a way to um, adjust the lower, uh, the minimum and max voltages. Maybe it's something to do with that. So what I enabled was something called three gears uh, enabled, and I forced it into low gear. And now I've gotten at least 50% more throttle play. We're running. 10 amps, 500 watts, and I'm a lot closer to, uh, like I said, I've got some play here now, so I can at least move the throttle a little bit. So now there's my about my peak speed, 20 amps. It's 2 to 45. And then the high speed ratio, mid speed, low speed, I have this set here, actually even to 60, but um, it, uh, the, I enabled this three gears and I left this the same, I put the default gear was two for low gear, LG, so the low speed ratio is 60%. And uh, that made a significant difference to the throttle. I have a lot more control now. And I, but I've also put these to 45, so I don't know if they're making a difference. But um, I, I can now feel like I don't just touch it and, it and it goes too fast. So I have more play with the throttle. So I'm going to just take that out for a spin um, here now in, in, the, uh, in the marina. Okay, so um, I'm just going to do this again here. I've plugged my... Uh, uh, my CH341 USB serial adapter cable that I got from Golden Motor into the Vector uh, VEC500 controller 
and then I'm just running this uh, PI800 EXE. It's got a little drop down here. Uh, for me, mine showed up on COM5. I click this little button and it says upload parameters successful and I'm connected. And uh, these are the main sections of the software. Uh, so I've got uh, motor parameters, voltage, uh, current, temperature, motor blockage settings, throttle parameter settings, acceleration and deceleration parameter settings, warranty date, uh, software version. And then there's some extras underneath controller function settings where you, you've got some uh, regenerative braking, cruise control, forward speed loop, uh, backward speed loop, three gears function, and a boost function setting, speed throttle type. I'm using the uh, joystick throttle that comes from Golden Motor. And it has to be to potentiometer throttle, which is set in the speed throttle type. Uh, some key things I think that uh, when I first um, I got this, I'm just taking a look here. Uh, low voltage protection value. So the voltage, uh, I enabled the low voltage protection enable and I made sure that it was set to 44 volts because my system is 48. Uh, the exit value 2, low voltage protection value 42, so I think it actually will shut off. So it starts beeping at 44, uh, triggering current reducing, so it reduces the current and then at 42 volts it actually shuts off. So that's uh, an attempt to uh, not uh, run the batteries completely dry. It's not that bad, it's a little hard to get the, or it's awkward to get um, the values changed and I'm, I'm not convinced sometimes that I'm that it's taking the values because it seems like I change it and it doesn't do anything but basically this download here uh, icon this is upload so it's just I guess from my world you download I'm pulling and uploading I'm pushing to a device but it's backwards so uploading means uploading from the device to the laptop and then download means send it to the to the controller so you press download it says successful and then what I like to do is I like to just reconnect so then it says upload meaning bringing it uh, the settings from the controller back to the software and you can tell that it resets because this menu changes so right now I'm just uh, working on the throttle control so I'm just changing the forward speed ratio and the backward speed ratio to 60. And um, the three gears function on this throttle, there's actually a little um, little switch on the top, which I think is like low gear, medium gear, high gear. Uh, so I just changed the default to low gear because I'm I'm finding that uh, there's too much power uh, coming off the motor in my direct drive setup. So before I had a, um, a pulley system and I had a 1.92 to 1 ratio and now I've got a 1 to 1 ratio and I just wanted to see the difference with the, um, um, the amount of watts required to run the boat at 3 knots. So uh, it's improved uh, dramatically but you know it's probably too much because now I've got um, an over, what do they call that? It's like it's too much power going to the motor and I do know that um, uh, it's not um, there's a certain amount of force required to actually get the prop to turn in the beginning and this motor has a ton of torque so it can handle it it's just more the top end speed that I'm trying to reduce and then make the throttle more responsive so I'm just going to give that a try here now so I had to change this to potentiometer to get the joystick to work um, I was incorrect before this thing here was set to hyperbole or hyperbolic um, not linear and uh, changing it back to linear uh, I have more throttle action so the voltages I think were all fine uh, I just had the throttle mode selection set to linear so uh, with that now my joystick is working so uh, it's actually pretty straightforward to change it from a bicycle 
style, uh, hall sensor style. Basically, the hall effect throttle or potentiometer throttle was really the only thing that I needed to change. So changing that to potentiometer throttle, that was uh, what got me going. And then up here, underneath uh, forward speed ratio, lowering this down to 60% uh, just helps it not rev as much. And uh, I also enabled the three gears enabled, and I made the default low gear, which is 60%. And uh, like I said, that seemed to have the uh, uh, have the effect I was looking for to lower down the RPM. You know, intuitively, I would think that setting the forward speed ratio uh, maximum uh, would be enough. But you know, I'm wondering if this is compounding. So it's 60 and 60. So really it's 60% of 60%. And that's why I'm feeling like it's a better um, better action on the throttle. Uh, so. Like uh, at 13 and a half knots, I've got a little bit of a headwind on me, but uh, 14 knots. So I'm actually doing more than three knots, so I'm doing sorry at uh, 14 amps. I'm doing three knots right now, just slowing it down a bit. 